I made a video describing 11 common mistakes that are made when you're taking your own blood pressure. And many doctor's offices make these mistakes as well. I'm gonna put a link down in the description so that you can review that video because those are the main mistakes that I thought of that I see commonly done. But there are others and I wanna thank you for commenting. If you know of any other mistakes, let me know in the comment section. But these are the big ones that uh, in response to that video that I probably should have included. So let's get into number one. Number one is the wrong cuff size. So if you have a small arm and the cuff, the cuff that they're using is too big, you're gonna get an incorrect blood pressure number. It's gonna be lower, but most people don't have too small of an arm. They're clinically obese or they're just big people and their arm is so big that it doesn't fit the normal cuff size. So when your doctor or yourself takes your own blood pressure, you wanna make sure and use the correct blood pressure cuff size that will give you accurate numbers. Now on the blood pressure cuff, there's a, a range that you see with the uh, machine and it needs to be respected because if you have a big arm and they use a regular cuff size, that's going to increase the numbers that are inaccurate. In other words, you're gonna read high blood pressure when you may not even have high blood pressure. So it's very important to use the correct cuff size. Number two, this was in the comment section a lot, but I didn't think about it because I thought it was obvious. You should not smoke before you have your blood pressure test. And the reason why is because just one cigarette will raise your blood pressure numbers significantly, sometimes 20, 30 points on the systolic, and that can give you a reading that isn't accurate. Now, the question is, if you're a smoker, what are you, what are you doing? You need to stop that. So is taking the blood pressure right after a cigarette giving you an accurate representation of your blood pressure? One could argue that it is. However, to get the most scientifically based blood pressure, you wanna know what a person's resting blood pressure is when they haven't eaten yet, when they haven't had any food, when they're at rest. So if you keep everything standard, you should check your blood pressure before you have your cigarettes, not that I'm endorsing cigarettes, but if you do it the same way every time, then you're gonna get results that you can compare from day to day. Now, if you're gonna have a cigarette before your blood pressure test every time, then <laughs> make sure and have a cigarette every time you check your blood pressure because that's gonna be your normal. I thought it was obvious, but many people corrected me and told me uh, that I should have said that. So I'm officially saying it now, don't have a cigarette before you have your blood pressure check. And take Number three, the left versus right arm. Now the left arm is considered the standard operating procedure of why you should be checking your, when you should be checking your blood pressure, which arm should we choose? On average, you should be choosing the left arm and I know there's big questions as to why. Let me give you the detailed answer because I just kind of skimmed over it on the last video. I'm gonna pull up an anatomy book. Now if you get grossed out by anatomy, then turn away and just listen as if this was a podcast. We are looking at the arteries of the heart as they come off. Now there's differences between the right and left side. I'm gonna change pages so it's easier to see. Right here, the first artery that comes off the heart is the brachiocephalic trunk, which will then become the right carotid artery and then that will go to the subclavian artery, which will eventually become the brachial artery down the right arm. Then the second one, the ar second artery that comes off the aorta is the common carotid artery. And then the third artery is the subclavian artery. So we have two subclavian arteries on both sides, but one is farther away from the aorta before it becomes the brachial artery. Now we'll discuss the brachial artery in just a minute. But if we're checking the blood pressure, we're trying to check the vascular system of the entire body, but we also want to know 
about the heart. So you, it would be ideal to be able to check the artery that's closest to the heart. And that would be the left brachial artery because you can't put a blood pressure cuff around someone's uh, shoulder joint, but you can do it around their arm. So the reasoning why you would prefer the left arm and the reason that's considered the standard operating procedure is because that artery directly comes off the aorta. Whereas on the right side, it goes through different branches and is farther away from the heart. There's also a number of comments, I think, I don't know why this is so hard to, to argue, but they said, oh, you're not checking the brachial artery. I don't think you guys look at anatomy books that often, but right there in the arm, that's where you put the blood pressure cuff. As you can see, it says uh, brachial artery. Where does it say brachial artery? Right there, okay? So there should be no argument. You're not putting the blood pressure cuff on the elbow. You're, whoops. You're not putting the blood pressure cuff on the elbow itself. You're putting it up here on the arm. That's the brachial artery. The fourth mistake with checking blood pressure is if you're using an automatic blood pressure cuff at home, you got to make sure the batteries are working well. The batteries, if they start to go down, will give improper numbers when you're checking your blood pressure. So always make sure you have good batteries. Number five, lack of calibrating your blood pressure machine. Blood pressure machines are machines and like most machines like cars and anything, it needs some maintenance and needs to be calibrated. If your blood pressure machine is not calibrated, then you might get false readings with your blood pressure machine. Number six, and this was a big one in terms of comments, and I'm not gonna apologize for this one, but I called the nurse she. And I understand that there are some nurses that are he's. It's not that common in my particular area. So I don't know whether to call a nurse a she or a he, but when she walks into the room, I'm gonna assume that the nurse is a she. And if they prove otherwise, or maybe they don't want to be called either. I don't know what to call people. I can't say it because that is inappropriate where I come from. So you're just going to have to get over the fact that when I use my terminology and a nurse walks into the room and I have to make a decision as to whether it's a she or it's a he, I'm going to say she. And I understand doctors are the same. If I say he walks into the room, I'm not trying to offend anyone. I understand some doctors are she's, but we have to use some type of words, and that's a mistake. You get so upset that your blood pressure goes up, and look what happened. Now you're watching stupid videos like this one, so don't get offended. Number seven, you may have an infection. This is something I didn't think about when I first made the video because it wasn't on my mind, but if you're checking your blood pressure when you're sick, your illness may artificially raise your blood pressure. And I say artificial because it's not your normal blood pressure, it's being artificially raised. And that was another thing people got offended by. I said artificial. You're just gonna have to get over it. But if you have an infection, your blood pressure may go up. That doesn't mean you have to jump on the medication bandwagon. You have to understand that when you are infected, your body is working harder, your heart is working harder, and your blood pressure may temporarily be higher simply because your body is trying to fight the infection. So don't worry so much about it. The eighth and final mistake that people make if they're using a manual cuff is they will allow the needle to move too fast. You're only supposed to have the needle on the machine move down two millimeters of mercury per second. And a lot of times nurses, if they are in a rush or something like that, she may actually let the needle go down faster and you may not get an accurate reading simply because you're trying to rush the blood pressure test. So those are uh, eight other mistakes that I found 
that when checking your own blood pressure or your doctor checking uh, your blood pressure can possibly make. So be aware of them. Any other further comments? Maybe I'll make a third video. Let me know in the comment section down below.